Imagine that everything you know as reality is nothing more than a carefully constructed prison for your mind. But this prison is not made of steel or concrete. It is far more refined and dangerous. It is metaphysical. This is what we call the matrix. This matrix is an invisible construct that imprisons our consciousness. What prevents us from recognizing our true nature and potential is not a physical barrier, but a spiritual one, a prison woven from the threads of ignorance and forgetfulness. But who is directing this play? Who is pulling the strings behind the scenes? Higher forces, far beyond our current understanding, have created this reality to control us, to distract us from the true nature of our being. And so we live day after day, trapped in a seemingly real world that is nothing more than a curtain separating us from our true selves. You see the colors, you feel the wind, you hear the voices, but all of this is part of the game, a deception that manipulates our senses. Especially old souls, those who have lived many lives and are endowed with deep knowledge and experience, often fall victim to this illusion. Ironically, it is precisely these old souls who remain most trapped in the matrix because they have internalized the false reality too deeply. Their wisdom, which slumbers in the depths of their being, is obscured by the veil of the matrix. Perhaps you feel that something is not right, that there is more to life than meets the eye. This is your inner wisdom speaking, trying to awaken you from your trance. But the matrix has woven itself so cleverly into your consciousness that even the most experienced souls often fail to see through the illusion. The first step towards liberation from the spiritual prison is to recognize one's own captivity. It is the moment when you begin to see the cracks in the illusion, the absurdities, the inconsistencies that suddenly strike you. This moment of realization is of immense importance because it sets the process of spiritual awakening in motion. It is like waking up from a deep sleep, slowly realizing that you were trapped in a dream world. This realization is not easy and often painful because it challenges you to question everything you have previously accepted as true. But it is necessary to embark on the path to true freedom. Now imagine the veil of ignorance that the matrix has placed over your eyes. This veil prevents you from recognizing and developing your true potential. You are like a mighty warrior who has been put in chains without knowing that the chains are only illusions. Only through conscious spiritual practice can you begin to lift this veil. Meditation, reflection, the search for the deeper meaning of life, all these are tools that can help you break the shackles that the matrix has placed around your mind. It is a difficult and often lonely path, but every step on this path brings you closer to your true self, to the essence that you truly are. So ask yourself, are you ready to break through the illusion and see the truth? Are you ready to leave the prison of the matrix and enter the freedom of true consciousness? The decision is yours. And it is in this decision that your awakening begins. Now, after you have broken the chains of the matrix, a new chapter of your life begins, a life that is so fundamentally different that words can hardly grasp it. The change you are undergoing is not just a shift in your perception, but a complete reorganization of your consciousness. Your mind, once imprisoned and limited by the illusions of the matrix, is now expanding, grasping the world in its true essence. You see everything in a completely new light, a light that is no longer colored by distortions, but shines clearly, purely and authentically. Imagine that what was once only shadow and fog is now before you in vivid colors and radiant clarity. Your consciousness is free from the shackles that once blinded you, and now you see the world as it truly is. This newfound perspective opens your eyes to the wonders that surround you, wonders you never even noticed before. The truth suddenly becomes so obvious that you wonder how you could have ever overlooked it. What used to seem normal now turns out to be a web of illusions and false perceptions that has prevented you from realizing your true potential. But now that you have awakened, it is as if you are returning from a deep dream to reality, a reality that is rich in possibilities and deep insights. In this new state of being, you find yourself on a journey of rediscovering your own soul. The connection to your soul, which has been hidden in the matrix for a long time, is now being restored, and you begin to explore the deep layers of your being. You remember past incarnations, lives you have lived before this existence, 
and suddenly many of the puzzles of your present life make sense. Your mission in this life, which you previously only vaguely sensed, becomes clearer, more distinct, almost tangible. You now understand that every experience you have had, every challenge you have faced, is part of a larger plan that accompanies you on your path of spiritual development. This realization fills you with a deep sense of purpose and peace, because you now know that you are exactly where you are supposed to be and that every action you take has meaning and purpose. With this expanded consciousness, your perception of the physical world also changes. The colors you see are no longer just shades of color, they are alive, pulsating, carrying an energy that you never perceived before. The sounds that surround you are no longer just noises, they are symphonies that resonate within you, carrying a deeper meaning than you could have ever imagined. And the feelings you experience are no longer filtered through the matrix, they are raw, intense, real. It is as if you have been looking at your whole life through a veil, and that veil has now fallen. You experience the world as if you were seeing it for the first time, and every experience you have becomes a source of inspiration and growth. But that's just the beginning. After you have freed yourself from the matrix, you gain the ability to consciously create your own reality. The laws of manifestation, which used to seem like abstract concepts, now become crystal clear. You understand that your thoughts and feelings are not just reactions to the world around you, but powerful tools with which you can shape the world. If you can imagine a new reality, you can create it. You realize that you are no longer a victim of circumstances, but the creator of your own destiny. This realization gives you an unprecedented freedom, but also a deep responsibility, the responsibility to create the world you want to live in. If you feel that this video has been a value to you so far, I would be happy if you shared this value with a donation through the super thanks button below the video, as much as seems right and fair to you. Every gesture of appreciation is a precious gift to me and it is your donations that make all this possible. And so the path of self-realization becomes your new task. Life after liberation is not only easier, but also more meaningful. You begin to seek and fulfill your true purpose, and in this search you find deep fulfillment. Your days are no longer characterized by routine and monotony, but by constant development, a striving for higher consciousness and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Every action you take now has meaning, every decision you make contributes to your spiritual journey. You see, life after liberation is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey, a journey that will lead you to the highest heights of your own soul. Are you ready to take this path? Are you ready to realize your full potential and create the world you have always wanted? The path is before you, and it is just waiting for you to take the first step. Now we will delve deeper into the mystery of the ancient souls and their special role within the Matrix. These ancient souls, who have lived through many lifetimes and carry immense wisdom within them, often find themselves in a paradoxical situation. Although they are equipped with a wealth of experience and knowledge, they are often more deeply trapped in the Matrix than younger souls. But how can that be? The fate of the old souls is closely intertwined with the deceptive power of the Matrix. With each new life, they carry the memories and wisdom of their past existences within them, but these insights are veiled by the dense veils of the Matrix. Their many experiences make them more susceptible to illusions because the Matrix uses an extremely sophisticated tactic. It reinforces the memories of the physical realities of past lives while simultaneously obscuring the spiritual teachings that these souls have learned. Old souls often feel deeply connected to the world as it appears, and this makes the illusion of the Matrix all the more effective. Instead of using their wisdom as a key to liberation, they become lost in the entanglements of karma and rebirth, trapped in a cycle that draws them ever deeper into the Matrix. But old souls not only bear the burden of the Matrix, they also have a special mission that is closely linked to their deep connection to the spiritual world. Their task is to penetrate the Matrix and help other souls to awaken as well. They are the signposts, the beacons for younger souls who are still at the beginning of their spiritual journey. This mission is of crucial importance, because the Matrix can only be overcome if enough souls find the path to freedom. Old souls have the ability to show the way to others through their own transformation, by sharing their wisdom and passing on the teachings they have gathered over many lifetimes. 
Their words and deeds can be like sparks that ignite the fire of awakening in the hearts of others. The awakening of these old souls often begins through a process of remembering. They sense that the reality in which they live is not the whole truth, and this intuition leads them on a quest for deeper understanding. The memory of their previous incarnations becomes a key that unlocks the gates of the matrix. When they begin to remember past lives, the lessons and experiences they gained there, they recognize the illusion that has kept them imprisoned. This memory is like a lighthouse that guides them through the thick fog of delusion. But remembering is not enough. It also requires the courage to accept the truth and take the necessary steps towards liberation. Old souls must break through their old patterns, which are deeply rooted within them, in order to gain full realization and overcome the matrix. However, on their journey to liberation, old souls face specific challenges that are often deeper and more complex than those faced by younger souls. These challenges are not only spiritual in nature, but also affect emotional and mental well-being. Old souls carry the burden of many lifetimes, and this burden can manifest itself in the form of deeply rooted fears, feelings of guilt or unresolved trauma. The Matrix uses these weaknesses to keep old souls in a state of doubt and uncertainty. It is as if the Matrix gives them the opportunity to fight their own demons, and they are repeatedly confronted with the most difficult aspects of their own selves. But in these challenges lies the opportunity for deep healing. By facing and overcoming these inner conflicts, old souls prepare themselves for the final break out of the Matrix. The path that follows liberation often leads old souls to a higher spiritual dimension. This dimension is not only an expansion of consciousness, but also a place where they can fully unfold their wisdom. In this higher dimension, the illusions of the matrix are finally broken through, and old souls can exist in a state of purity and clarity. Their spiritual abilities are enhanced here, and they have the opportunity to act as teachers, guides and protectors for other souls who are still trapped in the matrix. This is the next step on their soul journey, an ascent into an existence that is no longer influenced by the limitations of the physical world. Here they recognize the full meaning of their mission and can live their true nature in all its glory. But that's just the beginning. After you have freed yourself from the matrix, you gain the ability to consciously create your own reality. The laws of manifestation which used to seem like abstract concepts, now become crystal clear. You understand that your thoughts and feelings are not just reactions to the world around you, but powerful tools with which you can shape the world. If you can imagine a new reality, you can create it. You realize that you are no longer a victim of circumstances, but the creator of your own destiny. This realization gives you an unprecedented freedom, but also a deep responsibility the responsibility to create the world you want to live in. If you feel that this video has been a value to you so far, I would be happy if you shared this value with a donation through the super thanks button below the video, as much as seems right and fair to you. Every gesture of appreciation is a precious gift to me and it is your donations that make all this possible. And so the path of self-realization becomes your new task. Life after liberation is not only easier, but also more meaningful. You begin to seek and fulfill your true purpose, and in this search you find deep fulfillment. Your days are no longer characterized by routine and monotony, but by constant development, a striving for higher consciousness and a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Every action you take now has meaning, every decision you make contributes to your spiritual journey. You see, life after liberation is not the end, but the beginning of a new journey, a journey that will lead you to the highest heights of your own soul. Are you ready to take this path? Are you ready to realize your full potential and create the world you have always wanted? The path is before you, and it is just waiting for you to take the first step. Now we will delve deeper into the mystery of the ancient souls and their special role within the Matrix. These ancient souls, who have lived through many lifetimes and carry immense wisdom within them, often find themselves in a paradoxical situation. Although they are equipped with a wealth of experience and knowledge, they are often more deeply trapped in the matrix than younger souls. But how can that be? The fate of the old souls is closely intertwined with the deceptive power of the matrix. With each new life, 
They carry the memories and wisdom of their past existences within them, but these insights are veiled by the dense veils of the matrix. Their many experiences make them more susceptible to illusions because the matrix uses an extremely sophisticated tactic. It reinforces the memories of the physical realities of past lives while simultaneously obscuring the spiritual teachings that these souls have learned. Old souls often feel deeply connected to the world as it appears, and this makes the illusion of the matrix all the more effective. Instead of using their wisdom as a key to liberation, they become lost in the entanglements of karma and rebirth, trapped in a cycle that draws them ever deeper into the matrix. But old souls not only bear the burden of the matrix, they also have a special mission that is closely linked to their deep connection to the spiritual world. Their task is to penetrate the matrix and help other souls to awaken as well. They are the signposts, the beacons for younger souls who are still at the beginning of their spiritual journey. This mission is of crucial importance, because the matrix can only be overcome if enough souls find the path to freedom. Old souls have the ability to show the way to others through their own transformation, by sharing their wisdom and passing on the teachings they have gathered over many lifetimes. Their words and deeds can be like sparks that ignite the fire of awakening in the hearts of others. The awakening of these old souls often begins through a process of remembering. They sense that the reality in which they live is not the whole truth, and this intuition leads them on a quest for deeper understanding. The memory of their previous incarnations becomes a key that unlocks the gates of the matrix. When they begin to remember past lives, the lessons and experiences they gained there, they recognize the illusion that has kept them imprisoned. This memory is like a lighthouse that guides them through the thick fog of delusion. But remembering is not enough. It also requires the courage to accept the truth and take the necessary steps towards liberation. Old souls must break through their old patterns, which are deeply rooted within them, in order to gain full realization and overcome the matrix. However, on their journey to liberation, old souls face specific challenges that are often deeper and more complex than those faced by younger souls. These challenges are not only spiritual in nature, but also affect emotional and mental well-being. Old souls carry the burden of many lifetimes, and this burden can manifest itself in the form of deeply rooted fears, feelings of guilt or unresolved trauma. The Matrix uses these weaknesses to keep old souls in a state of doubt and uncertainty. It is as if the Matrix gives them the opportunity to fight their own demons, and they are repeatedly confronted with the most difficult aspects of their own selves. But in these challenges lies the opportunity for deep healing. By facing and overcoming these inner conflicts, old souls prepare themselves for the final break out of the matrix. The path that follows liberation often leads old souls to a higher spiritual dimension. This dimension is not only an expansion of consciousness, but also a place where they can fully unfold their wisdom. In this higher dimension, the illusions of the matrix are finally broken through, and old souls can exist in a state of purity and clarity. Their spiritual abilities are enhanced here, and they have the opportunity to act as teachers, guides and protectors for other souls who are still trapped in the matrix. This is the next step on their soul journey, an ascent into an existence that is no longer influenced by the limitations of the physical world. Here they recognize the full meaning of their mission and can live their true nature in all its glory. Now we enter a particularly intense and transformative chapter of your spiritual path the three-day method. This method is not an ordinary process, but a powerful focused journey that aims to free you from the matrix in the shortest possible time. It is a path for those who are willing to fully devote themselves to their spiritual development and to finally break through the illusions that keep them trapped in the matrix. This method requires discipline, dedication, and an unshakable will to face the unknown. Day one begins with preparation and cleansing, the foundation for the profound changes that will take place in the days ahead. It is the day you prepare your physical, mental and spiritual body for the intense liberation process. Cleansing begins on the physical level, often through fasting, which not only rids the body of toxins but also sharpens the mind. Fasting allows you to release the heavy energies that keep you in the matrix and prepares you to connect with higher frequencies. Along with fasting, Meditation is an essential part of this day. These meditations should aim to clear the mind, 
relax the body and gather the energies you will need in the days ahead. It is also a time to tune into the higher frequencies that will guide you through the process. Use music or sound healing tools that are specifically designed to raise your vibration and consciously connect with the energy of the universe. This is the moment when you fully surrender to the process by leaving your everyday life behind and focusing on the journey ahead. Day two is the most intense and crucial part of the process. This is the day of deep meditation and frequency work, where you will be directly confronted with the illusions of the matrix. You will start the day with a longer, deeper meditation designed to put you in a state where you can expand the boundaries of your consciousness and recognize the truth beyond the illusions. During this meditation, you will work with specific frequencies that are known to open consciousness and penetrate the matrix. Tones such as the solfeggio frequencies, 432 Hz or 808 Hz, 888 8 Hz, can help you to further increase your vibration and expand your consciousness. It is important to go deep within yourself during this phase, to penetrate the darkness and not to be deterred by the potentially frightening or challenging experiences that may occur during meditation. These experiences are often manifestations of the illusions you need to break through in order to attain freedom. Work consistently with the frequencies throughout the day, and also use the time outside of meditation to stabilize your energy and strengthen your intention. Devotion to this day is crucial, because this is where the actual liberation occurs. The third and final day is the day of integration and ascension. After you have broken through the illusions, the next step is to anchor the new insights and states of consciousness in your being. Start the day with a gentle meditation that helps you to integrate the experiences of the previous day and to stabilize your consciousness. This day is less intense than the second, but just as important, because this is where you prepare for the ascent into a higher dimension. It is the moment when you begin to reap the fruits of your hard work by integrating the new clarity and expanded consciousness into your daily life. Frequency work can also help you on this day to stabilize your new consciousness and to preserve the energy that you have built up during the process. It is also a time to look inward and reflect on what you have learned, what new insights you have gained, and how you can apply them in your life going forward. Ascending to a higher dimension does not mean that you leave the physical world, but that you begin to live on a higher level of consciousness, where you perceive reality more consciously and clearly. Completing the three-day method does not mark the end of your journey, but the beginning of a new phase of your life. After these three days, it is crucial to continue working on yourself in order to stabilize and deepen the consciousness you have achieved. The matrix will try to pull you back into its illusions, but you now have the tools and knowledge to resist. Continue the practices you learned during the three-day method in your daily life. Meditate regularly, continue to work with the frequencies, and make sure to keep your consciousness at a high level. This is a time to create your new life, free from the constraints of the matrix. You will find that your life is now characterized by more clarity, calmness, and spiritual depth. The three-day method has opened the door to a new reality for you. It is up to you to walk through that door and live the life you have always dreamed of. Are you ready to go through this intense process and receive the gift of liberation? The path is challenging, but the rewards are immeasurable. The three-day method is an invitation to transform yourself and ascend into a new dimension of being. Deciding to take this path could be the most important step in your spiritual journey. Now that you have broken the shackles of the matrix, a new path opens up before you, the path to a higher dimension. This dimension is not just a place, but a state of being characterized by a higher consciousness and deeper spiritual insight. It is as if you were to penetrate a fog and suddenly see the world in its true, unclouded beauty. The ascent into this higher dimension is the result of your inner work, your letting go of old patterns and the acceptance of a new reality that goes far beyond what you have known before. The higher dimension you are now entering is characterized by a number of remarkable features that will take your life to a completely new level. One of the most striking features is the absence of fear. Fear, which is an omnipresent force in the matrix that influences your decisions and clouds your perception, loses its power in this new dimension. Instead, 
you experience a deep inner peace and security that results from your clear understanding of the universal laws and your unshakable connection with the universe itself. You feel supported by a higher order, an all-encompassing love that permeates every fiber of your being. Another key feature of this higher dimension is the deeper connection with the universe and everything that exists. This connection goes beyond what was possible in the physical world. You feel the energy of the universe in every moment, as if you yourself were part of the cosmic fabric that connects everything. This connectedness gives you a clear and deep understanding of your own soul and its mission. You realize that you are not isolated, but an integral part of a greater whole, a universe based on love, harmony and creation. Your decisions and actions reflect this understanding, as you now live in harmony with the universal energy. The transition to this higher dimension is a process that begins with letting go of old beliefs. Everything that has kept you in the matrix, the fears, doubts, misconceptions and conditioned thought patterns, must be discarded to make room for the new truths that await you in the higher dimension. It is a process of inner cleansing and transformation, in which you shed layer after layer of old entrenched beliefs and open yourself up to the unlimited possibilities of higher consciousness. This transition is not always easy, because it requires you to leave familiar paths and venture into the unknown. But the more you let go, the easier your ascent will be and the clearer the new reality that lies ahead of you will become. Life in the higher dimension is fundamentally different from what you experienced in the matrix. Relationships, goals and everyday life are now guided by spiritual principles. Your relationships with others are deeper, more authentic and free from the manipulative patterns that are so common in the matrix. You recognize the souls of the people around you, and your connections are based on genuine understanding, compassion and mutual support. Your goals and aspirations are no longer shaped by external influences or material desires, but by a deep inner urge to contribute to spiritual evolution and to develop your full potential. Your everyday life is permeated by mindfulness, gratitude and a constant connection to your higher self. You consciously manage your energy, choosing carefully where you focus your attention, thus creating a reality that is in harmony with your true nature. But even in this higher dimension, there are challenges. Ascending to a higher consciousness does not mean the end of all difficulties, but rather a change in the way you encounter them. Challenges in this new dimension are often more subtle and tend to affect the subtle levels of your being. They may involve recognizing and transforming deeper layers of your ego, freeing yourself from the last remnants of the matrix or mastering new spiritual lessons that come with your expanded consciousness. However, these challenges are not perceived as obstacles, but as opportunities to grow further and continue your spiritual journey. You realize that the path of the soul is an ongoing journey that opens up new dimensions of knowledge and being with every step. In the higher dimension, life is a constant flow of growth, learning and realization. Every day brings new insights, every encounter a deeper connection, and every experience contributes to your spiritual evolution. You are now a conscious creator of your reality, and the universe itself is your partner in this ongoing dance of life. Are you ready to fully accept this new state of consciousness? Are you ready to live your life in the higher dimension, with all its joys, challenges and possibilities? The path is open, and it will lead you to the highest heights of your being. The decision to continue on this path will not only bring you a deeper fulfillment, but also the realization that you are indeed a being of light and love who is here to lead the world into a new era of consciousness. After breaking through the matrix and ascending to a higher dimension, it may be tempting to think that the most difficult part of your journey is now behind you. But in truth, this breakthrough does not mark the end of your spiritual journey, but the beginning of a new, even more profound path, the path of self-mastery. This path is a continuous process of liberation, a never-ending quest for higher consciousness and deeper realization. True liberation is not just a single moment of enlightenment, but a constant effort to refine one's own being and to live in harmony with the universe. The process of self-mastery requires constant self-observation and mindfulness. Even after you have seen through the illusions of the matrix, it is possible that old patterns and thought forms will resurface and try to pull you back into the old ways. The matrix has many layers, 
and it takes constant vigilance to ensure that you are not drawn back into its subtle deceptions. Self-observation is the key to becoming aware of these patterns and dissolving them before they can take hold in your consciousness again. Mindfulness helps you to stay in the present moment, to observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, and to make conscious choices that are in alignment with your higher self. Through constant self-reflection, you can ensure that you are progressing on your path of self-mastery, rather than unconsciously falling back. An essential aspect of this path is the further development of your spiritual practice. The challenges you are now facing are different from those you experienced in the Matrix, and therefore also require a further development of your techniques and methods. What once seemed effective to you may no longer be enough in this new phase of your journey. It is important to remain flexible and open to new approaches in order to keep pace with changing demands. For example, you may find that you need deeper forms of meditation to reach new levels of consciousness, or that you need to engage more deeply with certain spiritual teachings to gain a more comprehensive understanding. Your practice must be a living, dynamic process that is constantly evolving to support you on your journey of self-mastery. Equally important is the integration of the knowledge and wisdom you have gained into your daily life. True knowledge is not just a collection of information, but a deep, lived experience. The wisdom you have gained through your spiritual practice and your liberation from the matrix must be anchored in every aspect of your life. This means that you incorporate your new insights into your daily decisions, relationships, and actions. It is about living authentically, in alignment with the principles and values you have recognized. When you integrate this wisdom into your life, you will develop a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Your life will become an expression of your inner truth, and through this deep understanding you will be able to not only walk your own path of self-mastery, but also inspire and support others on their path. The ultimate purpose of this continuous work on yourself, this never-ending process of liberation and ascent, is complete self-realization. Self-realization is the state in which the soul fulfills its highest destiny and lives in perfect harmony with the universe. It is the goal to which every soul aspires, and it is the deepest form of freedom. In this state, you have broken through all illusions, overcome all fears, and live in a consciousness permeated by love, compassion, and deep understanding. You realize that you are not separate from the universe, but an essential part of it, that you are both creator and creature, connected to everything that exists. Self-realization means to unfold your full potential and become the highest version of yourself. It is the point where you let your soul shine in all its glory and fulfill its destiny on this earth. This state is not the end of the journey, but the beginning of a new, even more comprehensive existence, in which you live in harmony with the highest vibrations of the universe. It is a life characterized by joy, peace and deep fulfillment, a life in harmony with the cosmic plan. The journey to self-realization is the most beautiful and challenging journey you can take. It requires courage, dedication, and a willingness to constantly evolve. But the reward for this work is priceless, awakening to your true self, living in a dimension of the highest consciousness and experiencing the deepest fulfillment that a soul can achieve. Are you ready to continue on this path of self-mastery and discover the infinite possibilities of your own spiritual evolution? The path is before you, and it will lead you to the highest heights of your being. The path to liberation from the Matrix is a profound, transformative journey that takes you through various levels of consciousness, to your true self and a life in a higher dimension. This path requires courage, discipline, and an unshakable commitment to the goal of complete self-realization. Let us now summarize the essential steps that will guide you on this journey. First, it is crucial that you become aware of the existence of the matrix and recognize the illusions it creates. Awareness is the first and most important step towards liberation. Without it, you remain trapped in the false realities that the matrix maintains. You can achieve this awareness through deep reflection, self-observation and constant mindfulness of your thoughts, feelings and actions. Another key to liberation lies in the power of frequencies. Everything in the universe vibrates at a certain frequency, and these vibrations directly influence your consciousness. Certain frequencies, such as the solfeggio tones or 432 Hz, 
can raise your vibration and help you to penetrate the illusions of the matrix. By consciously surrounding yourself with these healing frequencies, whether through music, meditation, or sound healing, you support the process of your spiritual liberation and prepare your consciousness for the ascent into higher dimensions. The three-day method is an intensive process that has been developed to enable a significant breakthrough from the matrix within a short period of time. This process begins with preparation and cleansing, continues with deep meditations and frequency work, and ends with integration and ascension into a higher dimension. The three-day method requires absolute dedication and discipline, but it offers a powerful way to break the shackles of the matrix and attain a new consciousness.